Everybody, the creator of The Sopranos is back with a new movie called Not Fade Away. It tells a story of a group of New Jersey teenagers who are trying to make it as a band during the 1960s. Brad Garrett is the actor, probably best known for his role as a big brother, and everybody loves Raymond. He plays the producer, songwriter, the band thinks can make them stars. Those are two or 20. I want you to learn them. Play as many bars and coffee houses as you can. Ensconce yourself here in New York. Pay your dues. Make your living from it. Play seven nights a week, two shows a night, and then call me in six months. The movie uh, opens this Friday, and Greg Garrett's with us this morning. Nice to have you. It's great to have this you. Great. A little like an intervention. <laughs> I, just, uh, I, I like the pocket square too. Thank you. Yes, you work. Uh, I like Al Roker, up and down with the weight. But I love it. You got to you gotta, you gotta pick a number. I'm consistent. <laughs> Does anyone know if he's I'm consistent. <laughs> How's the cliff? How's the fiscal? Cliff? <laughs> okay. the fiscal cliff doesn't look like there's anything. We have a job. Are you into we politics? Have a yet. Uh, I'm not. A, well, you know, I'm a big McGovern fan. <laughs> I, I'm not, look, this, this is what I'm saying, and I don't want to get political okay. because I can't fit in the booth. It is not a one of vote, but I get in the booth and the, the heads, you know, it's like a bad shower. <laughs> but just, just the people, like all of you, you know, we all got a little dough. Just pay it up. Just pay it up, and let's all go home for so Christmas. So you're like, we could wrap, wrap up I'm, this whole tax I'm just thing. Like, I'm just like, you know what? Let's help out. And just, look, they're killing us now with the tax. Let's kick in a little more. You got all daddy's money. I can tell you. No, seriously. No, no, never worked a day in his life. He, he just I've calls mom every Sunday. He just calls mom Brad, every Sunday. I've been on this show for a year. You're the yeah. funniest yet. You are 100% no, no, the best. Can I ask you a question? Please. Do you prefer doing comedy? Do you prefer doing TV? Do you prefer doing movies? What is there a preference to have or just like all of Which is a bigger check? <laughs> Whose show is this? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This yes. is unbelievable. Thank you. She says Thank it every day. You. Is he still a reverend? I, uh, you, you know, it's, I love doing stand-up. I, I love, you know, I, I love acting, you know, as, as long as I, uh, hand modeling. A lot of people want to know I used, I used to hold the spoon for the Hungry Jack breakfast lunch and sleep. <laughs> wow. You only see Soledad. Yes. What is that? Because I'm watching you backstage and yeah. it, it, that name is Soledad. Maria de la Soledad, Therese Mercadio O'Brien. Okay, we're ready to order. <laughs> Anyone else? She has six okay. names. That is, I got a lot of names. What is that? Because it's, it's uh, My beautiful. mother's Cuban. My okay. mother's Afro-Cuban and my dad is Australian. Oh, that's a lot of so drinking. So that's just, yeah. People are, <laughs> a lot not, of you're people not are, kidding. People are hitting it hard there. From both sides <laughs> of the family on that. I love that. Tell me a little bit about the movie. You have the, the, yeah. the Sopranos uh, creator and yes. then, of course, James Gandolfini also involved. And David Chase and Steve Van Zandt. Yeah. So does that, does that... How did that go? Well, uh, I'll tell you how it went, and I'm going to be very honest with you. Uh, the movie is wonderful, and it's kind of semi-autobiographical about David Chase's... Are we going to commercial? No. no. That's okay, just... because I hear Nancy Grace yelling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Sorry, know what that, that is. Must be I need doctor. powder, Kelly, powder! <laughs> I don't know what that... Who's Kelly? <laughs> um, I, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, uh, solid daddy. Um, <laughs> This interview, and I'm not, I'm not, this interview is, is going longer. Off the rails? No, 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 not off the uh, rails. A uh, fiscal cliff, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, this is, this is longer than I'm in the film. The, the screen time Did I'm having. Did they cut all it. your lines? What happened? No, but small. they didn't cut all my lines. <laughs> small Reverend, check. Reverend, small tell, check. Tell how it works. Small check. No, no, it, no I'm mean, and grateful, you know, to, to be on it. It was just, I, I'm just, it, it was a, a tiny or a cameo. You know, which is great. Would you like to do more then? Is that, yeah. would, would, so does, that, does that mean, does that, mean that you'd you like that? to, you'd like to have like a starring role in a movie? Well, you know, every, every time uh, Mr. Gandolfini was on camera, yeah. I would just walk in front of him. I'm one of the few people who can, you know, eclipse the man. I mean, he's, he, he's a big, but you're like his x-ray. Have you met James? No, actually, we have met. I see. We have met. But I, actually, I think that you can really uh, do more than Vince Vaughn does, because I think you're funnier than Vince. Vince Vaughn, so maybe you should get the same agent. You have a new show, right? What the hell does that mean? My point is, I'm trying to get you greater roles. She said you want to do another movie. Wait, wait, wait. Who is it? You have a new show coming I have a new show on ABC called How to Live with Your Parents for the Rest of Your Life, and it's starring the wonderful Sarah Chalk. Who, uh, from Scrubs, right. and uh, um, Elizabeth Perkins plays my mm -hmm. wife, and uh, I did my first frontal, 
and it didn't wait. go great. Didn't go. Well, they wanted to. They <laughs> wait, wanted wait, to wait, pick somebody. What? They wanted to what pick did you somebody. Say? First frontal. No, first frontal. On network TV. Of course, the black guy has to explain it. Front, 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 you know, you know, the other side. Bros, the other side. Bros, we get it. Yeah, I know you do. We get it. I know you do. It's a really a fun show, and it comes out on ABC April 3rd after Modern Family, and I play Sarah Chalk's stepdad, and it's 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 a wonderful story about um, frontal. No, it's, uh, Sarah Chalk moves home uh, back with her parents uh, after going through a, an untimely divorce with her child. And, and uh, Elizabeth and myself, we really love our, our home life and our empty nest. And we're the kind of parents that are like, what are you doing here? How long will you be here? Right, when are you leaving? And what do you, yeah. Any black folks on the show? Uh, there, uh, no, no, no. But, well, there's one guy who's kind of, yeah, he's a... Uh, Kind of like Soledad's color. Uh, 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 a little in the middle. Right, I'm just checking, you know. I'm so letting let all the brothers know to watch it. It just so happens we have brothers on the show. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, just checking. Just checking. Uh, let's Do you guys have enough? Let's no, take a really? sharp turn. No, actually, okay. we don't. Yeah, I mean, are there turn. any Jews with the Knicks? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, throw me a ball. Okay. White guy in the paint. No okay. back. Turning to no back. That's my thing. No back. What is it? He does weather. Turning, what is no back. Back. turning to professional poker. <laughs> Hang on. Put him on professional the show. poker. What, what was turning your sharply. Yes. <laughs> like this. Er, to professional poker. You just uh, broke a record. I need you to bring it down a notch. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, who could he possibly be sleeping with? Well, this I mean, guy? No, okay. he's not okay. All right, it's ours. It's ours. Okay. Okay. Solana. I want it. I like Solana. Oh, sister. Look at Let me tell you something, Solana. Oh, yeah. Solana. Right. Right. Yeah. Don't pronounce incredible. the last D. It's like Soledad. Say hello. Solana. Solana. Yeah, better. But I said to myself, Solana. I know what happened to Tony Solana. That's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right, we will uh, continue. You're going to leave poker? Not going to talk to him about poker? We got to go? I actually have to hit a break. No, We're going to no. keep oh, around, though. Is this the Nancy Grace bumper? You can't Kinda. give me 30 yeah, seconds? Sort of, yes. Okay. Yes, but we'll have you back for that 30 seconds on the other side. Back in a moment. Welcome play. back. We're... It was the best massage. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have hands. Magic new fingers. You have hands <laughs> like an Polish war widow. So, <laughs> I've been trying for a few minutes to get a question in about your, profe your, your poker player. At a, a well, I am uh, I'm not a very good poker player. You just won like a hundred thousand dollars or some. No, massive... listen, so Lynette, no? You, you have to read the notes. <laughs> You, know what? It was, you it are was a your tournament. Hang no. on, I'll read the notes. Please. Finally, you are a professional poker player holding tournaments for charity. You okay. recently broke one record for you raising a hundred thousand dollars. How did you get to be so good at the game? Oh, okay, it's not Rosetta. <laughs> <laughs> I have to she gave, she gave it a little Rosetta Stone. <laughs> on the last one. She, she started to. Uh, she Just she forgot man. she was on the main lane. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, yeah, but you said I won a hundred thousand. I raised a hundred thousand for this uh, charity that I started a few years ago called the Maximum Hope Foundation. Oh, not by playing. Well, no. What we did is people came and donated, uh. and, and they had entries, and we did it at the MGM Hotel in so Vegas. So you're a terrible poker player. I'm not that good. Well, here's I have a bad tell. Do you play poker? Who no. plays poker? Mm -mm. I have a bad tell, which means. Uh, uh, how, how would you explain it? Because you're, uh, you're all over you this. Know right. You reveal your card. You reveal how, how you're right. going to do. Yes, it's a exactly. tick. It's a <laughs> wink. It's a scratch in your face. It's a tick. It's a wink. It's a scratch in your face. Right. I've seen James Bond movie. It's a Sandra Bullock movie. That's right. <laughs> when I'm holding good cards, you I tell. become incontinent. Oh, it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. So, uh, and then the eyes like a happy to, dog sometimes. Like, like a happy dog. He's having a good see, time. I, I can see that. that. I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I play poker. I love it. I, but I'm not very good. But uh, I, I do it to raise money for the Maximum Hope Foundation, and which is my passion, uh, as long with uh, uh, fuzzy things and shiny objects. Well, it's nice to have you in to talk about your uh, role in Not Fade Away. Right it's here. a wonderful movie, and with James Gandolfini, he's in it uh, most of it. I'm, uh, I'm, <laughs> you're not bitter about that at all. No, so, at all. You barely, and he's you're fabulous. You're barely in it, but you're selling the hell out of it. You're well, listen, that's, I'm proud of I'm proud to be part of it. It's a it's a wonderful. You would love it. It's like uh, like uh, you remember House Party. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I know the guy who actually directed it. Yeah, wow. Reggie Hutton. Yeah. yeah. You want me to call him for you? He no, might, no. I'm he might good. put you. In, uh, I'm very, very good. He might put you in jail. We gotta take a short How break. We're out of time. We, we didn't talk about my book. <laughs> for next time. Call Nancy Grace. Call Nancy Grace. Short break. Back in a moment. Very good. Guys, great.